Does vaping cause high blood pressure? Vaping and e-cigarettes have been marketed as a safe alternative to traditional smoking, but do they come with their own health dangers? In this video, we will discover why switching to these new forms of smoking may be just as damaging, if not even more harmful than smoking regular cigarettes. Be sure to watch to the end, where we discover why even nicotine-free vaping could still damage your health. What is medical science discovering? Researchers from University Hospital Holstein in Germany have found that smokers of e-cigarettes experience the same, if not higher, levels of harmful cardiovascular elevation after smoking as regular cigarette users. They monitored smokers' vital signs during and after they had smoked a normal cigarette and an e-cigarette that contained nicotine. Researchers found that using e-cigarettes and normal cigarettes had the same significant negative impact on vitals, with participants' blood pressure and heart rates going up to unhealthy levels. Systolic blood pressure was raised significantly for 45 minutes after using an e-cigarette and 15 minutes after smoking a cigarette. Heart rate remained elevated for 45 minutes for e-cigarettes, while traditional cigarettes raised it for 30 minutes. So, this research indicates that e-cigarettes are actually more detrimental to your health than traditional cigarettes. Why are e-cigarettes harmful? Vaping carries health risks despite the elimination of tar and other toxic ingredients found in regular cigarettes. This is because nicotine from the vape juice causes blood vessels to constrict, which increases blood pressure. And high blood pressure has been linked to strokes and heart attacks. Dr. Magnus Lundback from the European Respiratory Society says there is a significant increase in heart rate and blood pressure in those exposed to e-cigarettes containing nicotine. Atrial stiffness, which causes increased systolic blood pressure, coronary arterial disease, and ventricular inflammation, increases a staggering 300%. How about e-cigarettes that do not contain nicotine? So far, we have discussed e-cigarettes that contain nicotine. But does nicotine-free vaping pose a health risk? Let's look at the evidence. A 2018 study in the medical journal Arterial Sclerosis, Thrombosis, and Vascular Biology found that exposure to flavoring additives in e-cigarettes can harm blood vessel cells in the heart, which are known to play a role in long-term heart health. The death of these cells can lead to vascular conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease. Short-term exposure to certain flavorings used in electronic cigarettes proved toxic to cell function in laboratory studies, suggesting that the additives could impair blood vessel function over time and contribute to heart damage. Jessica Fetterman of Boston University School of Medicine tested nine flavorings, all of which were found to impair nitric oxide production, which resulted in greater inflammation, more clotting, and irregular blood vessel contraction. There are currently more than 7,000 different flavors of e-cigarettes on the market, with e-liquids in menthol, sweet and fruity flavors among the most popular. Although many of the flavorings used to produce the flavors have been determined to be safe in food products, the safety for inhalation into the lungs is in doubt. Flavored e-cigarettes often contain a chemical compound known as diacetyl, which is associated with a rare lung disease called bronchiolitis obliterans that causes permanent damage to airways in the lungs. Propylene glycol and glycerol, the major components of e-liquids, are not thought to be dangerous on their own. However, they may decompose when heated by the vaporizer and be transformed into toxic compounds such as formaldehyde. This is more common with newer vaporizers, which are more powerful. What about secondhand smoke? While e-cigarettes do not produce smoke, breathing in secondhand vapor is not harmless. The aerosols from e-cigarettes contain many harmful chemicals, including lead and other heavy metals, as well as nicotine, ultra-fine particles, and low levels of toxins. It also has flavorings, such as diacetyl, which has been linked to lung disease. Also, because secondhand vapor contains nicotine, when it is inhaled by non-users, it can increase their risk of becoming nicotine dependent. The health consequences listed in this video could just be the tip of the iceberg. 
There are many unknowns about vaping and e-cigarettes, as it is such a new activity. There have been no truly long-term studies so far on their health consequences, and there could be many other potential downsides that are yet to come to light. If you need further advice, it's always wise to seek the opinion of your doctor. If you liked this video, please subscribe to Better Days, where we deliver fun and informative videos that help you become the best version of you. Till next time, have a great day!